Okay, guys. Welcome to this game I found on Steam. It's free. And, uh, it looks disturbing. Haha, <laughs> punny. Anyways, um, this is Disturbed. And it kind of looked interesting. I was just looking for something I could play just quickly. And something that wouldn't, uh, um, cost too much. And this one actually costed nothing. And so I will have a link in the description below. Uh, as per usual with all the free games but you can also just go on Steam um, search Disturbed and it should also be there um, I don't know anything about this game uh, I know that uh, you make decisions in the game that's about it and I know there's a s storytelling aspect to it so Let's get right into it. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your falling farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. My cow? Like one singular cow? Man, I must be in like difficult financial situation. For some time the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever t return to how they were before. How were they were before? I mean, how how were they before? Like, did I prosper once before? In a land before? Long ago? Time ago? Perhaps it is up to you. You have made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. Oh, look, it's a tiny little house. I like it. Granted, it's a simple house, but it's good. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Go to the shed. Go to uh, go in the house, or go to the crops. Well, if it's my farm and I want to make a difference, then I think I should go to the crops, right? A path divides the crops. You have labored so hard to prosper these past months. A pethrentering door odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away and time is running short. Follow the path, go into the pen, go back to the house, go into the pen. <coughs> oh god. That's creepy. Where did the music go? Mats. With the power of editing. Add music. I tried to snap there. Wait, let me let me snap one more time. Don't add the music yet, Max. Just add it when I snap. There. It must have sounded terrible on the recording. I saw like a huge spike. Anyways, a toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your cow, your poor cow, lays lifeless on the ground, as a growing br uh, as growing blint slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand there, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. No! My cow. My singular cow. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that was keeping my farm afloat. I'm kind of screwed right now. Grab the mushroom, inspect the water, leave the pen. I'm gonna grab the mushroom. <laughs> you kneel down and grab a mushroom. Oh God. Are they like acidic mushrooms that I just melt off my hands? As you begin to rip, <laughs> rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn as they melt. You observe them. Oh god, I'm right. They're like acid mushrooms. As, as long as none go in your mouth, you're fine. Slowly your body shrivels up into a dark, moist consistency as the poison spreads. You die, eventually crawling about the ground. No! Your adventure ends here. Oh, great. Okay, fantastic. I got an achievement. Those are some serious shrooms. Nice. Real nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, F is to... Oh, no. Don't... That full screen did. Can I skip? 
yeah uh, go to crops skip go to pen skip inspect the water you inspect the water looking for anything abnormal you notice that the water has a dark consistency to it dropping a stone into it black particles from the bottom swirl around like a thunderstorm your face shrivels in disgust nice grab a mushroom or leave the pen i think i'll leave the pen thank you very much a path divides the crops I've, that you have labeled. Yeah, 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 I got that. Um, follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in here. I'm gonna go in the cave. There is a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blit found outside. Further into the cave. Ah, shit. Before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake even thinking that something helpful could be in here. Yeah. No, I'ma be manly. Fight the bear. You scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab to throw at the bear. You begin to do, do so as the bear approaches. One after the other, you throw rocks as hard as you can. The bear charges at you. <laughs> Bend over to grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Your adventure ends here. Achievement. Scratch, uh, uh, scratch another off the list. I'm gonna go in the house. Entering the house, you feel a subtle, un subtle une unease, as if the growing blit bl blight. H how would you say that bl blight? Outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this. This may be a good time just to lay in bed and wish your problems will just go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. I know the feeling. I'm a lay in bed. You lay in bed, you fall asleep to the light sound of the wind blowing outside against the grass. Ah, oh, that's nice. You begin to hear whispers and chants, but you can't make anything, uh, make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone, glowing as if it were alive. The chants get louder as your vision grows more in detail. You reach towards the stone with your hand. As your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain that you've never experienced before and fear become, begins to flood over you. You suddenly see yourself lying in bed, never to wake up again. Great! It looks like everything here kills me. Nice, your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked, I am your nightmare. Good, I wanna open my chest. You open your chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You close the chest. Yup. Read your journal. Dear journal, another us usual day on the farm. The crops are growing with good health. Um, Bethan is also doing, I'm guessing Bethan is the cow that died. Never disappointed with the milk she provides. If there are things to go well, I may be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. <laughs> That's funny. Dear Journal, I woke up one night to, to a foul smell that I've never come across before. I took one step outside to see what I could find, but I found nothing. After searching the farm, whatever it is, it must be bad. I should make a trip into the city to see what this is about. So there is a city. Go back outside, because I know that going to bed will lead in death. Okay. Um, sorry about that. It's just an update. Um, go into the shed. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. 
useful. Go to the crops. Path divides, yeah. yeah. Skip, follow the path. Skip. Continue down the path. You come across, uh, you come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Inspect the wagon. You look at the mess and find bits of wood and cloth scattered around the scene, about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack, similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from which you recall. Maybe he is home. Inspect the shack. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figure out that the person lives here is uh, that that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. If you remember picking up the key from the wagon, you can use it on the door. The door unlocks. You decide to help yourself in. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. The room is erect, just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think of the man who used to dwell here. I'ma open the trap door. You observe the trap door and notice a lock keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downwards. Oh no. Walking down the steps leading below, air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the, chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful place. Talk to the woman. You tremble as you try as you try to form words in your mouth. Woman. You there. Let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. Hmm. You. What what got you locked up to begin with? Woman, you'll never believe me, even if I told the truth. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I know she's a prisoner and all, but considering that everything's killing me in this game, eh, why the hell not? You approach the woman and unlock the sha shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Ah, of course. I think I'm gonna die. Woman. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Ah, of course. Woman. Now I'll do you a favor. What will it be? Money? No. Death. Ah. Nice. Uh, what seemed to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the clinging grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body as you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It's unfor unfortunate that your journey ends here. Achievement unlocked. The damsel in distress. All right, inspect the book on the table. You pick up the book and start flipping through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today's trading went smoothly. Thank goodness. What I am thrilled most about, however, is one of my buddies mentioned to me that the conclusion of our day, to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick. But what can be done about it then? Something to be intrude about, I suppose. These past couple of weeks have been really rough for me. 
My trading business has gone under and I've lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes, but I can't be helped now. I'm leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying and there's nothing but darkness here. And I agree. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. Okay. You can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of his name, you got chills running down your spine. I'm gonna leave this shack. I'm gonna name this dude Runaway uh, Stevenson. No, go leave the shack. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under this tree, sit down, getting comfortable, you tilt your head back, resting uh, back against the tree and gaze into the sky. I'm gonna pick at the grass. As you pick at the grass, blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake before you can get a root below the sprout from the ground wraps around your legs. I think I'm gonna die here as well. You turn to see a large angry face looking at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No sounds or screams escape your tongue as you tighten the grips of the roots, squeeze what air is left out of you, blah, 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 blah. Your adventure ends here. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Nature will rise against you. Ah, fantastic. Take a nap. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. Just gonna save. Your body, uh, as your body relaxes, you fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Details emerge as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you as you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but f uh, feel fearful that something bad will happen if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical opinion, uh, option now. You reach a point where the trail splits into two paths. You reach a... P uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up towards a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would have never noticed. Which way do you go? I'm gonna continue down the path. You walk for some time, find an endless grass field. There is a stone well nearby. I'm gonna inspect the well. You peer down at the well. Other than the evident water at the bottom, there's a coin resting against the wall. If possible, you should feel to take that and get the coin. No, 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 no. That's a bad idea, a really bad idea. Perhaps you may attain the coin later, you step away from the well. I'ma continue on. Walking over the hills of grass and grain, you reach the walls of Amur. Several times a year, you come here to trade goods from the farm. You discover the plague that has spread to your farm, also spread all the way out here. The path before you is overrun with, I don't know how to say that, Bliet? I don't know. Continue across, I guess. You have come a long way. You don't desire to turn back now. You march forward into the tainted soil. Before you can realize what happened, you sink completely under the ill soil. Darkness consumed you, and your lungs struggle for air. Your body burns in pain as you suffocate and die. Your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked. It was all for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go left again. And this time I'm gonna pick up the coin. Uh, continue down the path. Inspect the well. Grab the coin. You lean over the edge of the wall. There's no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With this in mind, you turn, climb down along the inner wall takes a few successful steps down, but your luck runs out. You misplace a foot and fall. Tumbling about, your body crashes into the stone walls. With a single knock to your head, you lose all consci consciousness of your accident. 
with a splash, you fall into the water, your body sinks effortlessly, and you're drowned. Okay, that's that's a mistake. You're drowned without realizing it. You drown without realizing it. Your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked. Ooh, shiny. Skip. Follow the trail in the grass. Ooh, sword. Following the subtle trail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. Oh, it's a grave. Inspect the grave. You approach the grave and look at the sword with intrigue. Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. You freeze before the... I don't know how to say that. A, 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 a printon? A, a, a preton? I, I don't know. The sword. May I have it? Spirit. The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. Spirit. If you desire the sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Spirit. Fool! Only something of pure essence can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in darkness. I'ma grab the sword. You reach for the sword before you can lay a finger on it. The spirit grabs your arm. Eh. A sharp uh, pain flows over your body as your flesh, flesh melts off your bone. What fragments remain fall to the ground. Your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked. A cursed blade. Great! Skip. Inspect grave. Spit. Uh, back away from the sword. You listen to the spectator. Okay. Continue on. You pause to see that there's a lake nearby. The trail continues to your right. Inspect the lake, of course. You step near the lake and look down on uh, into it. Rest underwater is an orb of some sort sitting on the bottom of the lake there's something strange about it as if it were calling out to you dive in only good things can happen here you close your eyes and jump into the lake you open your eyes to see the stone sitting before you you start to make your way towards it a large fist comes into view it quickly notices you with its mouth stretched open you try to uh, leave for the surface, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. You close your eyes as the giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. Your adventure ends here. Achievement unlocked. Don't need a fishing permit. Well, it's nice. Well, I've been recording for 24 minutes or 25 minutes, uh, I'm gonna do a part two to this. And part two might be a little shorter, but um, uh, this game is a little too long to do in uh, one, uh, one video. So I'm gonna cut this down hopefully to 20 minutes um, uh, with all the little breaks in between. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye!